More Floridians filed for unemployment last week than any other week since mid-March. That's a signal that the worst of the unemployment crisis may be behind us. But the Sunshine State is still suffering from one of, if not the, slowest economic recoveries in the nation. Eight on your side, investigative reporter Victoria Price joins us live in Tampa to explain how much of this is tied to travel. Victoria. You know, Jen, there's a couple of different things at play here. Florida had near record low unemployment going into the pandemic, so that does create a bigger hole to have to climb out of. But the fact of the matter is that Florida's lifeblood of our economy is hospitality, and that's an industry that's taken the hardest hit here in the nation. I knew in my heart of hearts that uh, hospitality was going to be hit hard. I just didn't know how hard. Delyn Meyer is one of the lucky ones. When she and roughly a thousand other workers were furloughed from the Trade Winds Resort in March, she found a new job just a couple of months later. But there are still so many people out of work in hospitality. There are so many people that um, you know don't know when they're going to be able to go back to work. A new report released by the U.S. Travel Association shows hospitality accounting for 40 percent of long-term unemployment, far more than any other American industry. Florida, in particular, is reeling, with a similar state report from last month showing tourism revenue down more than 80 percent. I think that the federal government needs to do something for hospitality. It's trying to. Both the HEROES Act, passed by the House of Representatives in May, as well as the Alternative Heals Act, recently unveiled by the Senate, would expand the Paycheck Protection Program, but lawmakers remain in a stalemate. We've come down about half from where we started, and we want them to meet us halfway. Congresswoman Kathy Castor says a relief package compromise must come as soon as possible. But even then, financial aid is merely a band-aid, she says, because if other states continue imposing travel restrictions on those who come to and from Florida, true recovery can't come until the virus is under control. Then it will be safer to get back to work. It will be safer to travel. The former head of Florida's Visitors Bureau previously said it would take approximately four years for the travel industry to recover from the pandemic. That is an estimate the governor, Ron DeSantis, disagreed with last week. Live in Tampa, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.